Hey guys, Gary here from RV Living Life. Today we're going to talk about security. Um, the security I'm talking about is with our Jeep. Uh, if you follow our channel, you know we have a 45 foot coach and we tow our Jeep behind us. Now we've seen on YouTube that people when they pull into rest areas to overnight like a, a Walmart or a truck stop or places like that, they generally leave their tow vehicle hooked up behind them. And people come up behind them while they're sleeping and unhook their tow vehicle and because it's already in neutral, they just push it back right onto a tow truck, right onto the flat deck, pull it up there and drive away with it. And uh, some one of our friends, actually a YouTube friend of ours, he was in a Walmart and he came out and started driving away and noticed his pickup truck was half in the other lane behind him because somebody was trying to steal his pickup truck and uh, only got one pin out. So one pin was holding the pickup truck and the people took off when he came. And then when he was out on the road, the pickup truck was off to one side because only one bar was holding it in place. Uh, since then, of course, he takes more precautions and I'd like to explain some of the precautions we take. What we do is uh, we, we use locks. So you can see the locks here and we put a lock on each side so that the Jeep is locked to the blue ox. And then the blue ox, we use a lock to lock it right into the uh, channel for the hitch. So there's no way any of this could come apart if we're at a Walmart or if we're sleeping in a parking lot or, uh, you know, just doing whatever, shopping or overnighting or what have you, or even being down at a friend's or if we're hooked up, nobody can unhook our vehicle from our coach. And that's very important to us because we do keep some valuables in it and who wants to lose their Jeep? Another method we use is a baby monitor. This works really well, uh, surprisingly. If you ever had a child and you used a baby monitor, the sounds that you can pick up on a baby monitor are incredible. And you can buy them relatively cheap on Amazon or Walmart. And uh, what we did was we bought one that has a camera and our camera is aimable. So from the, the base unit, you can steer the camera around and look around and uh, you can just, you know, we Velcro ours to the wall in our bedroom and uh, at night it's on there and it's silent. And if there's any noise around the Jeep or anything like that, it turns on and we can see a clear picture of what is going on and around the Jeep and we can hear really well. And we can steer it around inside the Jeep and point it wherever we want. Uh, normally we leave it pointed at one of the side doors if the Jeep is, co is parked on one side of the coach, uh, the opposite door of the Jeep, we would put the monitor pointed to it. Because if someone's gonna come up and pull our door handles, we feel they would come around the opposite side of the coach to do it. So anyway, using these two um, items, these two methods, one is keeping the Jeep locked with locks to the back of your motorhome. Uh, that definitely prevents theft while you're traveling if you're stopped along the way for shopping or rest. And the other is a baby monitor for at night. And baby monitors would also work if you had a pickup truck and you're pulling a trailer or whatever you use, you can always put a uh, baby monitor in your tow vehicle. So, you know, you're sleeping in your trailer at night, you can hear what's going on in the truck. And if you have a Jeep like we do or some vehicle you tow, you're sleeping in the motorhome at night and you can hear what's going on in your Jeep. So this all works great. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's Gary here from RV Living Life. And if you could, please subscribe if you haven't already and ring that little bell and give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. Thanks. Have a great day. Take care now. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is our Jeep. We're currently at uh, Thousand Trails in Palm Springs. I don't know if you've ever been here, but this place is awesome. Here I am inside our Jeep, and you can see we have the baby monitor on the front window, or in the front window. It's made by Hello Baby, and it actually has a camera. And it has the ability to go up and down and left and right, so we can steer it all around. If we hear anything out here at night, we can look around with the camera and see what's going on. Now the camera is plugged into an inverter. You know, because the camera, the baby monitor is 110 volts and the car runs on 12 volts. So we're using this inverter. And this inverter is plugged into a, uh, what do they call that today? A power adapter. You know, they used to be called cigarette lighter adapters at one time. 
and that power adapter is run uh, up along the outside of the car under the fender and into the front under the hood and it's directly hooked to the battery with a fuse and that's how we power the baby monitor because if you just plugged it into one of the charging ports in the car when you shut the car off it would just shut off so it's directly hooked to the battery and um, it can run for well we've tried it four or five days in a row and it doesn't kill the battery uh, we do have a good battery we always buy good stuff so the battery's high quality but the draw on this is very low and that's what we have in the car so if there's any noise out here at all we can hear it on the monitor inside the coach thanks for watching bye if you like what you saw here today give us a thumbs up we really appreciate that it helps us out a lot and if you want to see more videos in the future, click subscribe and ring that little bell so you get notified. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye now.